heavy guards. They can put on the deck and shoot. LaSalle's starting lineup, Jordan Price is their best player, and he's coming off tying a tournament record yesterday with 28 points in their second round win. Dr. John Giannini, the head coach in his 11th season, the winningest LaSalle coach in A-10 history. Meanwhile, for Davidson, their starting lineup, they feature four players in the starting five who all won conference honors here in their first year in the A-10. And they are led by Bob McKillop, who spent two and a half decades as the head coach at Davidson, the winningest coach in school history, and now the A-10 Coach of the Year as well. And with more on Bob McKillop, let's welcome in the third member of our crew here in Brooklyn, Carolyn Mano. Thanks, Steve. Well, Bob McKillop has been at Davidson for 26 years. He's only five wins short of 500 in his career. But when you look at what he's done this season with this young group of players, it has to rank at the top of his list of accomplishments. Started the preseason ranked 12th. And to his surprise and everybody else's, they ended first. We were talking with John Giannini before the game as well. The LaSalle head coach said he deserves it. He's the one that recruited this young core. And it is paying off on the floor, Steve. And they could not be on more of a roll coming into this tournament, having won nine in a row in the regular season finale. They beat Duquesne by 29 points and set a school record by dropping 23 pointers on Duquesne and shooting over 60% from the field. I mean, to hang a hundy on somebody with a championship on the line is absolutely fantastic for their team. Kalinowski in that game had 32, again, Matchup issues. Steve Zach and Connor Barham, who just tapped it and won the tap, mind you, at 6'4. He's an athletic guy. He's going to play in the perimeter. Drell Wright's going to guard him to start. Zach will start on their one lone big, Peyton Aldridge, number 23. Who, but he's good at stepping out and knocking down triples. There is Kalinowski, the first jump shot of the game, and he misses short the rebound to Khalid Lewis for the South. It's one of the keys for John Giannini is to limit three-point attempts, and they're great at that. 21st in the country, according to KenPom.com, in terms of limiting even attempts at the basket, and that's the advantage they have. Get it down to Jarrell Wright, get it down to Steve Zach, let those guys go to work. Jarrell Wright, the first basket of the game, and he got in foul trouble early yesterday in their second round win and didn't spend a lot of time on the court until late in the game. And that's really important to that, to your point there, Steve, for him to get out going early in this game. Great drive by Barham. Jordan Barham answering for Davidson. Again, that's the matchup problem because he can put it down on the deck. He's one of the few guys that isn't really a three-point shooter, but he'll get it on the deck. He'll get there and rebound. He can score. Steve Zach. Gets the friendly roll, coming off the double-double in the win over UMass yesterday. I'm talking to Bob McKillop as that goes out of bounds. We'll watch Barham to go to work here. Jarrell Wright, right down Broadway, right past him. Zach's a, a step late with the help, but then Zach gets it back on the other end, going one-on-one. -on -one. No double comes, not a, not a catch, not a dribble. And Bob McKillop did tell me last night when we chatted a bit, you know, that they're going to switch up looks. They're going to give them different stuff, but right now, one-on-one -on -one early. One of those bigs, Wright or Zach, should have a touch every possession. Now, three of the last four years, the winner of the 8-9 game in the 8-10 tournament has gone on to beat the number one seed in the quarterfinal round. And that is our first fall of the game against Khalid Lewis of LaSalle. So LaSalle winning that game yesterday as the nine seed, now facing number one here today. And number one is number one in so many categories offensively because they can just shoot it. Like you wouldn't believe in a lot of it. You can see their action early on. It's a lot of off-ball screens, sometimes ball screens, constant movement, guys reading, reacting to one another. And three out of their four players, Gibbs, Sullivan, and Kalinowski, three of the four in the top four in the league in assist per game. Three-point attempt by Barham. And the first triple goes down to give Davidson the one-point lead two minutes in. That's only his 15th attempted three this season for Barham, and he's now made seven of those 15. And with the amount of differential again, they may, they, they may you know, look to split that, have him shoot it as Wright exploits there and land it inside yet again. Jarrell Wright has four of LaSalle's first six. Peyton Aldridge sizing up the three. And LaSalle running with Price. 
Splitting defenders and going all the way to the goal. Tip back up and in by Steve Zack. Big opportunity here for them in the offensive glass, too, to create more scoring opportunities. This is South team, one of the most challenged teams in the league. Last in effective field goal percentage in the A-10. So they need to get as many attempts as possible. Brian Sullivan off the screen. Zach the rebound for the Explorers. There's the quick double this time for Gibbs. And they find a wide open price as a result. Rebounded underneath by DJ Peterson and a fresh shot clock for the South. They gotta be careful in the double. They can't have a rotation where price is that wide open again. That's their best score, best shoot. Zach on the hook. Jarrell Wright, the offensive rebound, and he's got half a dozen in the early going. They're gonna have to put a body on him. Barham's gonna have to outwork him. He's given up about six inches to Wright. And all ten of LaSalle's points coming in the paint. Jack Gibbs with the miss. Rebounded by Aldridge, though. Barham had an opening to take it to the glass. He's a dynamic athlete, too, folks. There'll be times where he'll try to put that on somebody's head going down the lane. Shooting 60% from the field, second in the A-10. Three-point game, four minutes deep, first half. Steve Zack inside. And again, having success down low early. Good ball movement, and Jack Gibbs misses on the three. The rebound underneath the Peterson. Again, into Jarrell Wright. Got a break. Now Zach, and he's fouled going up. That's good patience by Jordan Price on the wing there. Made sure that he got right a touch. They're good players. You just got to run them off the line. You got to make them take contested ones. And if they beat you that way, then so be it. Steve Zach at the free throw line. So far in the early going, the bigs for LaSalle. Zach and Wright are 6 of 7 from the field and have all 12 explorer points. And all 12 of those points until these free throws were in the paint. So they're, they're it's kind of how they drew it up. If we have our advantage inside, we need to take advantage. Sometimes when you play a team so comprehensively good as Davidson, it makes your game plan simple. Absolutely. Don't don't overcomplicate things. And Coach talked to us about that, too, in terms of the amount of action Davidson runs. You can't scout and remember plays. You just remember concepts. He said he could put together a scouting report that's you know, 12 pages thick, but you can't, guys, you can't overlook guys like that. Brian Sullivan on the miss. Zach the rebound. Davidson just three for their first nine so far from the field. Zach had it tipped away from behind. And it remains with the Explorers as Jordan Price and Jarrell Wright both check back in. Colette Lewis and DJ Peterson to the bench. Meantime, Andrew McAuliffe will replace Jordan Barham in the rotation for Davidson. You play in your first day 10 tournament game. You're in Barclay Center. It's a little different shooting in here. You know, Davidson tends to play in smaller gyms. So it's a lot to... You know, kind of take in as an athlete. It's a different setting. They need to settle into this game, though, and do what they do, which is knock down threes and a 40% clip. That's the first foul on Tyler Kalinowski, the A-10 player of the year. I wonder if he was on the board for Vegas for a player of the year preseason. <laughs> Double big to big, hands high. Nice job getting the... Leon Roberts. Roberts had a big game yesterday, 16 points off the bench. Brian Sullivan again, this time the opposite corner, and he drains it for a three. Good patience by, patience by Jack Gibbs. I think he might have got away with the travel. He might have dragged that left pivot foot. Second team all A-10 player this year. The lead is three, with 14 to go first half. And a new shot clock for the Explorers. It's the fourth offensive rebound here in the first six minutes. Big stat to one. One big weakness for Davidson. Double team on right. Zamar Stoops had to save it in bounce. Stolen by Kalinowski. Great job by Kalinowski, but actually the smartest play there for Jordan Price. He knew he wasn't going to be able to get the ball 
knew he wasn't going to be able to stop him making a layup. So don't follow him. Don't compound the problem. He needs to stay in this game. And that's an offensive charge on Jordan Price. So Gibbs look, he might have dragged his foot, but Sullivan, a perfect pass though. So these guys pass the ball so well, right through his hands in his shot pocket. And here, good defense by Gibbs on the ball and Kalinowski. It's a kind of an acrobatic play right there to identify the ball and tip it into your running path. Back-to-back -back turnovers now by LaSalle, something they did not do yesterday. Only nine turnovers against UMass in their second-round win. That's important because they're in a, they took the turnover rate. 20% of their possessions end in turnovers for LaSalle on offense. They need to value the ball. Every possession is critical. It's going to be a foul on Jarrell Wright, his first. He picked up two quick ones yesterday against UMass and a large part of the first half on the bench. But he has been extremely effective down low on offense so far here in the first seven minutes of this quarterfinal game. And he's got to be careful and smart. He's got into the rhythm of this game. He can't hit the pine with the Kalinowski. And he has two points so far as Steve Zach pulls down the rebound. Jordan Price got to work harder on defense. That was too easy. Simple down screen, open look for, for Kalinowski. Between defenders, right to foul as he took it up. Davidson foul is number 23, Peyton Aldridge. There's Peyton Aldridge picking up his second personal foul. And he's one of the guys all rookie team this past year. And talking to Bob McKillop earlier in the year, he said, you know, we wouldn't have got Aldridge if we weren't making that move to the A-10. So it's helped the recruiting when you talk about what they accomplished this year. It actually is astounding to go into a new league that, to the 29th ranked conference in the SoCon to the 7th ranked conference in the A-10 and win it outright. Absolutely astounding what they've accomplished. And they continue to build, put building blocks in this program. It was already really good purely because they now put themselves on a national level. It's a bigger you stage. think of everything you have to adjust to and all the teams that are already familiar with one another and to be able to beat them all yeah. like this. The familiarity with the opponents, the familiarity of travel, the arenas, all those things play into it. Switching conferences is so, so difficult. You usually know these opponents, but it's tough on the coaches, tough on the players. And I do think they benefited from people underestimating them, especially early in the year. Nobody's doing that now. Barham driving. It's a good move to his favorite left hand. He's upset with himself. He should have finished that. Into Steve Zach. Very effective possession. Creating space and finding the open man. Zach now already with nine points. Gibbs on the miss. Gets the rebound. And a turnover. Miscommunication. As Gibbs threw it away. Jordan Price now coming back in for the sale. Meantime, Davidson. One of the top offenses in the entire country, just 5 of 14 from the field in the early going. And turnovers is something they do not do. They play fast. They get up and down, and they look to score. 61st in the country in tempo, according to Ken Palm, but they're third in turnover. Just over 14% of their possessions in the turnovers. That's insane in terms of you know, their ability to retain the ball, value the ball as fast as they play. Only nine turnovers a game. Lost it. Lewis looked at Wright said, my bad. He's right. That was a good find by Wright, but Lewis got to catch it first, then make the move. Shot clock at 12. Working the perimeter. And running out of time. Barham in the paint, kicks it out, long three, and the rebound to Jarrell Wright underneath, and he's going to be fouled by Andrew McCullough. Has sold that one too as they were of the season with Davidson. Really end of the season on a roll, had a double double in the final regular season game, a win over Dayton as well. Comes into Zach right here on the blocks and. Making it look easy. Great job of lifting all the defense. Everybody's above the free throw line, so there was no help. They threw it right over the top to Zach. He's already in double figures with 11 points here in this first half. Kalinowski launches the three. Zach fighting for the rebound with Barham. 
And it's off Jordan Barham and belongs to LaSalle. You see, you can't see their players, but Jarrell right